Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Focus Community Arena, the home of Hemel Hempstead FC, who play in the National League South Division, that's step two. So this is tonight an FA Cup third round qualifying fixture, and both sides are looking to get into the FA Youth Cup first round proper. We should have been playing at Tring Athletics' uh, home ground of Cow Lane, but unfortunately the Bulls won't be at Cow Lane this evening because uh, we wanted to ensure this game could go on and we're playing on a 3G surface here at Hemel Hempstead. It's a fantastic facility with uh, grandstands behind uh, both goals and to the sides of the pitch. So both teams have uh, beaten three three teams to get to this uh, phase, starting with Tring. They've beaten Risper Rangers, uh, Step 5, so it was a 6-0 convincing victory. Uh, step 5, Reading City, they beat them 8-1. And in the last round, they have a fa famous victory over Step 1, Maidenhead, three goals to two. Well, i tell you what it looks like. We're about to get underway here. Referee just checking with his linesman. Number 9, Jack Thompson, going to get us underway. And we are off. FA Youth Cup football here at Hemel Hempstead. Tring looked to clip a ball over the top and that's going to uh, go down the right left hand side of our penalty box. It's got the wrong side of Wilson and that's a good save from Duarte at the near post there. Impressive little attack there from Tring as they look to open the scoring. And here's Cassidy. Cassidy tries to clip one into the number nine and he does. Good defending there. Concalves, I thought, had the ball, but um, Oego did it exceptionally well. It's number seven. Good shot. It's a goal. It's the first goal of the game. It's scored by number seven, Noah Butler. Fortunately, Jersey will probably look back at that goal and said, could they have done better? And the answer was yes. And unfortunately, uh, you know, Jonah Huego's uh, persistence paid off with a ball falling kindly to number seven, Noah Butler, who's hit a lovely shot on the inside of the post to give uh, Tring a one goal, to lead, uh, one goal to nil lead after around about 13, 14 minutes of, uh, of the game. Wilson to Gilroy. James is well marking him there. Oh, good skills. Here comes Tring again on yet another attack. Drawing the man in. Away go. Shoots. Saved by Duarte. Good save by the goalkeeper there. Cassidy. Looks to find Thompson. Thompson gets there. Good strike. Great block. White ball. Huego, good, good play from Tring Athletic Football Club there. Patient in the build-up, putting Jersey under a lot of pressure. Dangerous position, 25 minutes into this first half. Let's see what uh, free kick ideas Jersey got here. It's floated up, flicked on, and that's the first shot on target for Jersey. It's Leighton Gilroy with a flick header. I think the way the ball was floated in probably couldn't allow Leighton to get power on that header. Bit of pressure here from Jersey. And Conor O'Keefe's won it up. Oh, Conor O'Keefe just slips at the opportune moment. Tried an outside of the right foot. Switch a play into Callum Gilroy. That's what Jersey needs. Just a little bit more pressure in this final third. And I think the Tring defenders could make mistakes. O'Keefe, who has swapped with Callum Gilroy. Shoots on his right foot. And it's a great tip over there from Lucarani. Jersey Bulls second shot on target of the game. And that one certainly tested the goalkeeper and produces Jersey's first corner. So he does the same. A bit more driven this time. Oh, keeper's dropped it. Opportunity. Good defending from Tring. Keeper came. Keeper dropped. Unfortunately, didn't fall to a Jersey head. Duarte with one of the... One of his better kicks of the half. Again, finds Brennan with a good flick on to Gilroy. Well marked again by Sales. Sales has dived in there and committed a bit too early. And Gilroy's managed to race down the right-hand side. He's put a cross in that six-yard box looking for his brother there. But again, credit to the goalkeeper, Luciani, who's uh, dived bravely out there on his six-yard line to uh, thwart the cross. Yeah. 
That was good play. McKay broken through. Good advantage there from the ref. There was a foul on uh, Fitzgerald in that build-up to take a heavy whack, but uh, clever, clever play from Tring. Sales. Mead. It's a bit weak there from Jersey, and that's a second goal for Tring. Disappointing there. Mistake in the middle of the park. Now Tring Athletic need Jersey. Two goals to nil. Excellent finish from the skipper. Harrison Mead doubles his side's lead just five minutes before the half time interval. And Andrade starts us off this second half to Brennan. Brennan, long ping forward. McKay deals with it. Cushion volley forward. Huckabee. The tennis going on here. Two and a throw and O'Keefe on the left-hand side. That's great pace there from where you go down there. He's put the ball in that corridor of uncertainty. And that's it. It's 3-0 within 30 seconds of the resumption. Unfortunately, the ball got caught under a Jersey defender in the six yard box there. And unfortunately for Jersey, you cannot miss those chances. So the score here is Tring Athletic three, Jersey Bulls nil. Dudley knocks it inside, good run. Great save from Duarte. O'Toole. So it's Jeffries out to O'Keefe actually. Here's O'Keefe. Gets a lucky bounce there. But his skills deserve that. He's breaking into the box. Connor O'Keefe tests the goalkeeper, but Lukiani's down on that comfortably. It flashes of brilliance from Connor O'Keefe on that left hand side. To Mead. Some good jinx there. Uh, Lewinson. Coming in, Thompson, the referee Judge Brennan uh, brought Thompson down, probably through the back of him, I would give a foul, no more than that. Looking for a right foot curled shot, Mead goes to the side of the goalkeeper and Duarte was equal to it with a double handed save, bring Athletics prize for beating Jersey Bulls here tonight will be a home tie to neighbours Buck Hampstead of step three here comes James Sales down this left hand side little chop inside finds Mead Mead fancies a, a shot he's checked cut inside again he's gone past Brennan bounces in front of Duarte but he holds it in his mid rift keeper does well here's James James dribbles the ball up for straight pass looking for Jack Thompson and he's got an underrun there and Thompson's gone round no he hasn't brilliant goalkeeper from, Tia, uh, from Thiago Duarte there thwarting Jack Thompson who looked like he'd taken the ball round him putting the it's a deep across this time Jersey win the header Jersey win the second header surely that was a foul referee is not even interested it looked like there was a foul involved there but sadly not the high foot wasn't, wasn't given this time it's a single arm corner routine, which basically is looking like an overload in this near on the on, on the corner. Oh, that could be a foul. Referee has decided to give a free kick on the edge of the box. That was uh, very very close to being in the box, but um, the referee is a lot closer than I, so uh, he's putting it right in the corner. Fitzgerald's in a pullback position. Clever little routine. Here goes Mead on his left foot. No, overcooked. Wins it back. Can O'Keefe win the ball back? Clever play, clever play. It's going to be a fourth for Tring. I'm not sure that's how it was played out on the training ground, but uh, it was clever. And Tring get the fourth goal. And sadly, Jersey Bulls FA Youth Cup run has come to a, an end here on this Wednesday night in Hemel Hempstead. Tring Athletic 4, Jersey Bulls 0.
back to the keeper. James again, he's a confident centre back trying to take people on, but he's running into trouble here as Ed Jeffries dispossesses him. Here's Conor O'Keefe. Conor O'Keefe looking for Charlie Sterling. I don't know if that was the right way to go, but the ball's won back. Here's O'Keefe. He's asked for Bre Brennan's asked to be set. Charlie Brennan switches it to Leighton Gilroy. Gilroy does well, goes past Sales, goes to grounds. Good defending by James. Leighton Gilroy sadly gone down. I hope he's okay. And the referee has now put a stop to it so that Leighton Gilroy can get some treatment. Sadly, he looked like his younger brother went off injured at half time. It's always the trouble when you go to ground to try and uh, put a cross in and someone else comes in that's, that's standing. They've got all the weight, all the pressure goes onto you. And I think that's what happened there when uh, Jack James went in for a tackle, hobbling heavily there, Leighton Gilroy. A jersey and St Paul's won't want to see him do any further damage with this game gone. Might be that Jersey opt to play with 10 men. And it looks pretty clear we won't be seeing Callum Gilroy um, come back on the pitch now. Kieran Pack and John Lloyd are almost escorting him off. But here comes Tring whipping the ball in. And that was close. Duarte opted to go with his feet. Probably the right option, but... Uh, Fortunately for him and the Jersey defence, that uh, the Tring attacker on the uh, breaking in there couldn't get a touch. A little cheeky back heel for Mead. It's found Jonah Huego. He's gone past Kyle Wilson. And oh, it could have been the fifth. Here's Cassidy to Lewinson. And there it is. It's the final. Final whistle, Tring Athletic 4, Jersey Bulls nil. Congratulations to Tring. They will enter the FA Youth Cup first round, play at home on Saturday the 4th of November against their local rivals, Burke Hampstead. Uh, one of those teams will move round to the FA Cup Youth Cup second round, which is one round away from uh, Premier League sides entering. So congratulations, Tring. Definitely the best team on the night. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.